<laughs> Hello and welcome, Grand Rapids. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm your anchor, Josie Sabo. And I'm your other anchor, Sean Francis. And because you were all getting dragged out at brunch, we're here to drag the local, national, and world stories that you may have missed. You're welcome, Grand Rapids. This is Newsflash. <laughs> Ding dong, our top story tonight. Reindicted and it feels so good. Yeah. That's right. Number 45 got hit with a whopping 37 counts related to those classified documents that they found in Mar-a-Lago, making him the first ever former president to face federal charges. Heading down to Miami today to meet with his lawyers ahead of a court appearance tomorrow, and I just gotta say, what better irony than to how this happened during Pride, and now he's in the land of DeSantis. Uh, if he really wanted, it's, Ron DeSantis really wanted to make a statement about the threat of, against American families, he'd make sure that Trump has a very bad time in Florida as the first public president to publicly screw himself. <laughs> in other sweet justice news, Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes has started serving her 11-year sentence in a minimum security Texas prison after being convicted last year for multiple counts of fraud. Which means look out for in fall 2034 for Holmes Alone 2, Blood Feud. <laughs> Theranos business like hoax business. Mm. Governor Whitmer signed a new legislation on Wednesday that will make it illegal to hold or use a cell phone while driving. I know, hands-free cell phone use is still okay, so expect a sharp in the optic later this month as Mil Sion around the state will start using voice to text more freak lent me. <laughs> at a Costa Rican zoo have documented the first virgin birth from a crocodile that laid a clutch of eggs despite living 16 years alone. Oof. Either that Tell croc... Me sister. <laughs> Either that croc snuck out to the late night watering hole when the zookeepers weren't looking, or the Bible left out that detail that Jesus was coming back as a crocodile this time around. <laughs> uh, Meanwhile, in Detroit, the great Swifty migration pulled fans in from all over to see her perform on Friday and Saturday. One of those fans in the crowd, notably, was Public Enemy co-founder Flavor Flav, who has seen not only wearing Taylor's merch, trading bracelets with other Swifties, but also just all of those friendship bracelets. Oh my gosh. Uh, given uh, both of their track records, we might soon see a new show, Taylor of Love, on MTV. <laughs> GR's Pride Festival is this weekend, but unfortunately, the rest of the country is not celebrating as much as we'd hope. Kind of in a one step forward, two steps back situation, a federal judge ruled the Memphis ban on drag performances was unconstitutional, which, yeah, yeah. we do like that. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Pentagon banned drag performances on military basis. Boo, we don't like that one. Uh, the unofficial name of the ban is Don't Ask, Don't Spill the Tea, which <laughs> is a shame because a Pentagon is such a perfectly shaped stage for those queens to protect and serve. <laughs> All right, and that's all the news we have for tonight. Wow, we've got a big packed show, so we're going to try and move it along. Yeah, and we'd also like to thank our writers for News Splash this week. And if you want to see your name up here, you can submit your jokes to the email comedyoutletmondays at gmail.com with the subject News Splash Tips. That's right. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, maybe. I don't know why you would. Uh, and watch videos of old shows, get lineups from future shows, get our submission form to put your act on this stage, and learn about other ways you could get involved. And if you don't want to wait around for all that, you can still hop up on stage after this giant show and, hop and, and participate in the free open improv jam. Damn, yeah. yeah! But now, Grand Rapids, you're welcome. News Flash, this is Comedy Outlet Monday!